I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to this version, look for a link below the video to a lesson playlist where you can learn the fundamentals of the game. And don't forget to download this quick reference so that you can follow along with the scoring. For this game, we're going to do three fawn minimum because when I play at Mahjong time, I like to play at those three fawn minimum tables. That equates to eight minimum points. So I like to practice decision making to prepare. If you have a set at home, you can too. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. We'll look at each player's hand and see if we can identify some scoring elements because we've got to have three fawn minimum. Three fawn. Don't forget to download this player reference so you can follow along. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one. We have a flower, a two flower. We're gonna say that it is the east round and we have a two flower here. This is player one, so they're not gonna get score for that, but they can get a replacement tile. Okay, for this player, they have mixed suits in one pair. This is going to be difficult. Five bams, five cracks, four dots. For Hong Kong Mahjong, three fawn minimum means all pung or half flush is a quick way to get to some scoring. No honors in here. So I think I would start by discarding the dots. See about pairing up or pick a suit. This is gonna be very hard for them. They might even play defense alone. Let's see what happens. We'll look at what we can do for player two, also known as Sal. They have their own flower. They have a fawn right there. If you get your own flower, you get a fawn. They got another flower. We're just going to wait on that though because we need to look at these two. They get their flowers first. So for this player, without that flower, I probably would play bams and get rid of the lesser suits, dots and cracks, focus on bams. They have child potential in there. Let's see what we can do here for West. They have a flower. It's not theirs. This is player three. That was a four. One bam. They have two pair of honors, North and East. It's East round, so they can get score there. They do have a pair of nine dots. They could maybe do all pung. I think I would hold the terminals. Maybe do, I think I would just do all pung probably. We'll see. All pung is three fawn. All pung in the wind of the round, east, that would be four fawn. 
we need to pair up two more times so let's look and see what we can do for north they're gonna have a hard time too three three five mixed suits one pair right now they have no flowers that's a fawn well All chow, no flowers, that's too fun. That's not enough. They do have chow potential. I think I would get rid of these offsuit tiles and go for a half flesh. All right, this player needs their other flower. That was a good keeper. Okay, they have mostly BAMs. All right, here we go. I think here we have a very difficult situation. We need to just start getting rid of these dots. Five dot. Up here, we need to collect BAMs. Three dot. <laughs> That's not good. They're in a. All these players are in a difficult situation. Every one of them. This is probably the best situation because of these pairs. Let's get rid of the six crack. If we do all chow concealed, that's too fun. It's not enough. We've got to get to one suit. So six crack, we're going to draw. White dragon. Wow, that's nice if they can pair up. So let's get rid of these BAMs. Four BAM. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw. Six dot. Okay, now they have a healthy grouping there of dots. Let's get rid of this eight crack. So right now they have no flowers. That's a fawn. Single honors are not too helpful, but they can chow here. So eight crack. Nobody can take it. Two dot. We're getting rid of dots. We want bams. We got a crack. Seven crack. That is a discard. And we're going to draw south wow look at all these honors they still need to pair up those single honors are not so helpful let's get rid of the eight bam nobody can take it you might think well why not chow you cannot chow from the player on your right you cannot chow from the player across from you you can only chow from the player on your left so they can't take that eight bam. Red dragon, that could help if they can pair up. Let's go ahead and get rid of these cracks because if we pair up, we could pung. Let's just hold that. Right now they have two pair. Let's get rid of these off suit potential chow tiles. Two crack. We'll draw. four crack all right now they have more cracks than they do anything let's get rid of these dots six dot okay six dot it's this player's turn but up here we could pung and since they have hmm they do have a pair here but if we pung we're gonna leave an isolated tile there 
and potentially here, even though we could use the three here for a chow, we would leave another isolated tile. If we let that go by splitting up the six, we have three potential chows. So just because you can pong doesn't mean you should. I think we should let it go and chow because here we have three blocks. If we pung, we would only have that one and this one. So I think I would stay concealed. Plus you can get score if you stay concealed. Concealed is a fawn. So six dot, we're gonna draw west. That could help them get to a half flush. We have a pair, or no, there's a pung in there. Potential chow, potential pung, potential chow. One, two, three blocks. Let's get rid of the three crack. We need to get three fawn somewhere and a half flush will do it. They have a lot of discards though. Three crack, nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Seven crack, okay, now they have four cracks here. One bam. Let's get rid of the bam. If they pair up more, they could pung. And mixing suits with pungs is okay. Right now they have three pair. One bam was discarded. I would not pung that. We're going for dots. If you mix chows with another suit with a pung, none of these number tiles will have value. You'll have to get all your value from the honors. And that, that's just not good, especially with these being singles. We're gonna draw, we need dots. We got a flower, a one, not good. Oh, white dragon. Okay, so that might help them get to a half flesh. Let's get rid of the three crack. Here, we could chow. If we chow, we're committing to cracks and they have equal number, no, they have one extra bam. I think that's their only recourse right now. That's the only thing they can do unless we do chows, all chow. If we do all chow for them and their own flower, we would need to rely on flowers and there, there are only two flowers for each player. One flower is already out here. So that will not get, give them enough score. I think this player is discarding cracks. So let's go ahead and chow. Let's take it because we can count on them discarding cracks. So we need to commit to cracks or play defense. Let's discard the seven dot and we can draw up here. Nine dot, we want bams. We could at least get rid of this crack, four crack. Nobody can take it. Seven crack, there's a pair. So we should go for all pung and it's okay to mix suits with pungs. We have four pair here, one, two, three, four. All we need to do in here is pung. Let's get rid of the one crack. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Seven dot, that was a good tile. Seven dot, let's get rid of this two bam. Two bam down here, we can't take it. Five bam, we got a keeper. Well, no, we want cracks. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, eight dot, we got a chow out. None of these are gonna be helpful. We need cracks. Eight dot, nobody can take it. So we're gonna draw. Four bam, that was a good tile. I think we want bams here. Let's discard this nine dot and we're gonna pung. So we're punging from the player on our left. Or no, let's see, player on the left. 
Kung. We'll discard the six crack. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw eight crack. Down here, we can't take it. We need a seven crack or a nine crack. Three bam, oh, all those bams. Doesn't really matter, let's discard the two bam. We need to get rid of all these. So, let's draw. East, maybe they'll pair up. Let's get rid of the one dot. Okay, so that was the last tile in the second wall. We are now in the middle game and it is this player's turn. Nobody can take the one dot. So everybody should know where they're gonna get their score. Here, we're going for a flush. We have all these tiles to get rid of. Here, half flush, we need to pair up, but we can chow. Pung, chow, or chow, use this as a pung or split that out. There's flexibility there. Three discards. Here, we need to pung, 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 and be waiting on a pair, I guess. Here, we need to chow and maybe pung, pair up and pung. Six dot. Up here, we could chow. We have a chow right there though. If we pung, we're gonna leave an isolated tile. Why break a chow to make a chow? Let's draw. Right now we're concealed. A bam. Nobody can take it. Eight bam. We don't want bams. We want cracks. Eight bam. Here we can chow. Chow. Let's discard the two dot. Up here we can draw. North, I got a concealed pung. We're gonna discard this. Let's see here. Let's get rid of these tiles actually. Nine crack, there are none out. None of these are out. Let's get rid of the white dragon. These can get risky if you hold on to them for too long. Nobody can take them, so we're gonna draw. One dot. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Let's get rid of this one bam. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. One crack. We want that. We want cracks. Let's get rid of these bams. They have a long way to go. Three bam. Chow. Discarding three dot. Green dragon. Yeah, we're, we need to pong. Let's get rid of this green dragon. Nobody can take it. We're gonna draw. Four crack. Let's draw seven dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. White dragon, there's one out. There's a green dragon out. Let's get rid of this five, ban or five dot, that's a five dot. So we need to pair up. These single honors are weak. We need to pair up so we can pung. Let's draw. Seven bam. Seven 
South, they paired up right there, pair South. They needed that. Let's get rid of the one BAM. Okay, so we have potential Pung, potential Chow, potential Pung, potential Chow or Chow, potential Pung. We can get rid of all those. So one BAM was discarded. We need cracks or winds and dragons. Nine BAM. Oh, 4 BAM, discard. One dot. Pong. Pong. So potential chow, potential pong, potential chow, potential pong. White dragon was discarded, so let's discard that. We'll draw here. This will be a good discard. Finally, we got a crack. Thank goodness. Let's discard five bam. Nobody can take it. We got a pung here. Three crack. Not helpful. Drawing. Nine bam. Nobody can take it. East, not helpful. These all have potential. We don't really need any of these. Let's discard the red dragon. And nobody can take it. So let's draw. <gasps> Four crack, oh my gosh, yes. Pair, isolated, or potential chow. Potential chow, or potential pung. Nobody wanted the nine bam. Let's throw that. These should be safe. Let's draw. Nine dot. Nobody can take it. You can't chow from the player across from you. Seven bam. <gasps> Seven dot. Okay. Let's discard the west. So we have a pair, six, seven, eight, six, seven, three, four. It's good to keep them in order though, just so you can see the flexibility when you pick next. This needs to go. That's a dangerous tile right now. So West was discarded. Nobody can take it. We're gonna draw. Five crack would be a good tile for them. Look at that. Let's get rid of that nine bam. Drawing. Two bam, we're keeping it. Now, white dragon, there are two out. Let's throw that. Drawing four west. Six crack, we'll keep it. Let's get rid of the red dragon. And now we'll draw for north. Three bam, that would be a discard. Drawing for east. Flower, no value. Red dragon, there's two out, but we could use it as a pair. Let's get rid of the five bam. South, green dragon was thrown. Let's discard that. Nobody can take it. Eight dot. Okay, up here, six, seven, eight, chow. We made a chow by breaking a chow, but it leaves us with a chow. So that's a good thing. We're gonna chow. And we'll discard east. Hold your breath. Pung. So if we are west, the player on our right discarded. Whoops. Okay. Pong. We're going to discard south. 
So we have a pung. Here's two potential chows or a pair or potential pung. They still have work to do. Up here, we can pung. Right now they're ready to win. South is of no value to them. If we pung, we would be ready to win on either a three dot or four dot. But if we let that go, we're still ready to win on one of two tiles, either a two dot or a five dot. There are two two dots out and there's one or two five dots are out. One three dot is out. I think I'd rather draw. Okay, now we still can get rid of this three dot and be ready on a double weight. So now we're ready on either a south or a four dot and there's still another south out. So let's discard three dot and draw. Three bam. West, they got a pair. Now east is out, so this is a safe tile. And we'll draw. White dragon, those are all out. Two dot. Oh my gosh. Bummer. Two dot. Okay. Drawing. Five crack. Wow. This really came in for this player here. Let's discard six bam. Six bam. Now we could Kong and then be ready to win. Although some games, there's no benefit to conging. Yes, you get a replacement tile, but they could also decline that and draw and get a tile. You could win on a replacement tile, but they're too far. They're one away still. Also, you give away information about your hand. They already have two chows out. Let's go ahead and Kong. Everybody knows we're in BAMs. Some groups have, let's see, that's on my left. Some groups have an automatic payout for a Kong, like a quarter. So we're gonna get a replacement tile. We got a flower. And a nine crack. So we'll discard the nine crack. Down here, we can Pung from the player on our right. Pung. Let's discard the red dragon, which has already been thrown twice. And now it's this player's turn. Red dragon. That is a safe tile. Let's discard the red dragon. Right now, this south is a little risky. There's one out. Drawing for west in a minute. We're in the end game. Everybody should decide if they want to push to win or fold. Here, they actually cleared to one suit, full flush. It's isolated tiles, but they have a potential pung, or they could chow. So we'll see. Here, they could pung and be ready to win. Here, they need to pung or chow and be ready. So they're all really close. This player's ready. I would play to win for everybody. Kong, this is concealed. So we're gonna Kong. Get a replacement, four dot, and that is Mahjong right here. Four dot from the player on my left. So there's their pair, Pung, Chow, 
Chow Pung Non value flower. Okay, so this player threw it. But I think I would have, I mean, they're one away from ready. They could pung and be ready on a nine or a six. Although there's a pung of nines out, I probably would have thrown that. But they could also have chowed and maybe discarded the seven and been ready on a six. So I think I would have played to win there. I think I would have played to win for everybody. So they have a half flush. Any combination of one suit with winds and dragons, any combination, you can have even this little pair of winds that is still considered a half flush. If it were dragons, it would be a half flush. If there were a pung of winds or dragons and a pair of winds and the rest one suit, that's still a half flush. As long as it's one suit with any number of winds and dragons, of course, punged and paired, and that would be a half flush. So that's three fawn. They met the minimum. So this player would pay 16 points to this player, and these two players would pay eight points each. So their total scores 32 points. North won with a half flush. They had a pair of south. If they had gotten more dots, I'd have pushed for full flush, but we're in the end game. So I think a quick win was the right way to go. And they were on a double weight for either a south or a four dot. It ended nicely for them. And east really drew well. I'm surprised all those cracks came in, but they were the only player in cracks. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.